from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. This is Atlas Launch Control at T minus 2 hours, 5 minutes, 28 seconds, and counting. We're now just slightly more than 2 hours and 45 minutes away from the actual launch of NASA's Landsat Data Continuity Mission. Liftoff will be atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 3, located on South Vandenberg. The launch window today extends from 10.02 to 10.50 a.m. Pacific Time, a duration of 48 minutes. The Landsat Data Continuity Mission, or LDCM, is the latest in the Landsat series, which embraces new advanced Earth monitoring technology. It will continue the Landsat program's legacy of serving a crucial role in monitoring, understanding, and managing Earth's resources from space, including our forests, water, and agriculture. The satellite has a design life of not less than five years and enough fuel to sustain it on orbit for 10 years. The Landsat Data Continuity Mission is a partnership between NASA and the U.S. Department of the Interior's U.S. Geological Survey. After three months of checkout by NASA, the observatory will be turned over to USGS for operation and will assume the new designation of Landsat 8. We've just completed a weather briefing to the launch team and our forecast continues to be very favorable. Right now there is still a 0% chance of not meeting our launch weather criteria today. The temperature at launch time is forecast to be near 43 degrees with a relative humidity of 89 percent and wind at approximately 5 knots. No significant clouds or weather, fog is remaining offshore and there's nothing on the radar. So at this time we're into our preparations for beginning our fueling activities for loading the propellants on board the Atlas and Centaur stages. We're now at T minus 2 hours, 3 minutes, 12 seconds and counting. This is Atlas Launch Control. 